Hey, data scientists and engineers, ever deployed a model only to have it make wildly inaccurate predictions in production? Or spent hours debugging bizarre results? You're not alone. Today, we're diving into software testing, your secret weapon for bulletproof code. Imagine you're building a house. You wouldn't wait until it's finished to check if the foundation is solid, right? The same goes for software. Testing isn't just a final check, it's an integral part of the development process. It's like having a safety net that catches errors before they become catastrophes. Let's break down the types of tests. Unit tests are like checking individual bricks in our house analogy. They focus on tiny pieces of code, usually single functions. Integration tests ensure those bricks fit together properly. Do different parts of your code play nice when combined? End-to-end -end testing is the final walkthrough of the entire house, checking if the whole system works as expected. Now, I know what some of you are thinking. Testing takes too much time. I need to ship code fast. But here's the truth. Proper testing doesn't slow you down. It speeds you up. It's like taking a few extra minutes to sharpen your axe before chopping down a forest. You'll catch bugs early when they're cheap to fix, spend less time debugging, and gain the confidence to refactor and improve your code without fear. To gauge the effectiveness of your testing, focus on these key metrics. Code coverage aim for at least 80%, and test pass rate. Strive for near 100%. Use tools like Coverage PY to measure these. When it comes to Python testing, leverage PyTest's powerful features like fixtures and parameterized tests. For web applications, combine PyTest with Selenium or Playwright. Don't neglect property-based testing using the Hypothesis library. It can uncover edge cases you might never think of. Test-driven development, TDD, is like writing the recipe before baking the cake. You write the test first, watch it fail, then write just enough code to make it pass. It might seem counterintuitive, but it helps ensure your code does exactly what it's supposed to. Nothing more, nothing less. Testing frameworks like PyTest and Unitest automate the process. They're like your personal quality assurance team, tirelessly checking your code day and night. But remember, you can't test everything. Focus on critical functionality and edge cases. Treat your tests like first-class citizens in your code base. They deserve just as much care and attention as your main code. AI is stepping in to help with testing challenges. Tools like TestCraft and Mabel use machine learning to generate test cases, helping catch scenarios that human testers might miss. As AI and machine learning evolve, we're seeing new testing challenges too. How do we test systems that learn and change over time? How do we ensure AI decisions are fair and unbiased? So, what can you do to start improving your testing game today? Take a piece of code you've written recently and try to write a test for it. It doesn't have to be perfect. The goal is to start thinking about how you'd verify that your code works as expected. Remember, testing isn't just about catching bugs. It's about confidence. Confidence to deploy without fear of breaking things. We've only scratched the surface of software testing today, but you're now armed with the basics to start your journey towards more reliable, robust code. What are your experiences with testing? Have you tried TDD? Share your thoughts in the comments below. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe for more tech insights. Until next time, happy coding and testing.